Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Web of Lemon, and today we're back to playing Cult Occult Crime Police. We're gonna load up our game from last time. Uh, I don't know why it asked me again. Act two, the Glossama Penance. September 13th, 8.32 p.m. Smart House Kitchen. Sir, what did you just say? I, I, I think I, I'm the one who killed that man on the ground. No, I know it. I remember stabbing him with that knife. S slow down, sir. What's your name? My, my name is Louis Bartomey. But you can call me Lou, I guess, if you want. Ha! Huh, how could I have done something like that? You're a police officer, right? You have to arrest me. I reckon these are your footprints, then. Yes, that's right. I tracked in some mud from the garden when I came in here. Let me see that shoe of yours. Yep. It's the same pattern. Well, what, that's one mystery solved. Muddy footprints updated in the evidence floor. Definitely belong to Louis Bottomy. Wow. This is fantastic. Man, I knew I was good, but I didn't know I was good enough to make murders confess on the spot. Looks like this one is wrapped up neatly. Let's book this creep real quick, and then I can get out of here. You really think he's our guy? Of course he is. He just confessed, didn't he? Take another look at the photograph that Smuck took. See that second figure in the window? It's gotta be him. Hmm. He doesn't look... That looks like a suit. Maybe. It looks pretty dark though. You see? It all... It ties up all the loose ends. Hold on a minute, Agent Drang. Don't you think this is all a bit odd? Killers don't usually confess this easily. Even remorseful ones like him. I think we need to interrogate him. Do you have to make this so difficult? Fine, go ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, this case is already closed. Mr. Bartomey? Yeah! And the guy in the picture looks white. This guy's a lot darker. But then again, you're looking through the window, so... Maybe it's distorted in some way, or that they have a shadow casted on them? I don't know. Mr. Bartomey? My light... My name is Miranda Warren. I'm the sheriff. Warren? Wait. Are you one from that missing persons case? Could I get, like, a good police officer to arrest me? Oh, ouch. I'm just going to pretend that I didn't hear that, alright? Now, can you please tell me your story from the start? Alright, fine. Just give me a second. My thoughts seem to be a bit hazy right now. Okay, I'm ready. Witness statement. Bartomey's confession. I'm a test subject in the clinical trials here at the base. Today I was here for another round in the trial. I had free some free time, so I came up over here to take a look at the house. I saw that man in the kitchen and was suddenly filled with rage. So I grabbed a nearby knife and I stabbed him into his back. After I left the house, I sort of kind of wandered around for a while. Seems pretty straightforward to me. He doesn't have a clear motive, but he had the means and the opportunity. I don't know, there's something that doesn't sit right with me. What's that? If you're already confessing to a murder, what's the point in lying to a police officer? You mean, you spotted the contradiction in one of his statements? Yes, a pretty big one at that. 
So what happens now, Andy? Now it's time to interrogate the witness. How does that work? I'll explain it to you. Witness testimonies are often faulty in some way. Maybe the witness is lying, or maybe they're just mistaken. In either case, the only way to uncover the truth is to present evidence which contradicts with their testimony. Every piece of evidence is a small part of the truth. How do you present, present evidence? First, we go to the statement which contradicts the facts. Next, we pull up our evidence and select the one which proves the contradiction. Sometimes it might feel like the witness is holding something back. In, other, in these cases, I can press them for further information. There's no harm in pressing a witness. In many cases, it's the only way to proceed. This is, this is a lot to keep track of. If you ever get too confused, we can consult with each other on what to do next. Alright, let's take this guy's testimony down a peg. Alright, interrogation. Botany's confession. I was here for a round of trials. Round in the trial. Um, okay. I had some free time, so I came over here to have a look at the house. Filled with rage, grabbed a nearby knife, and stabbed it into his back. After that, I left the house and sort of wandered around for a while. Actually, we know he was not wandering around. He ran. And we know that because he bumped into us. That's right. We saw you earlier. You seemed like you were in a hurry. Did I? I honestly don't remember. I think I must have been a shock. Maybe it's good th that I didn't notice you. I might have tried to hurt you too. Don't worry, you wouldn't have succeeded. So, that's all you've been doing for the past hour? Yep, just wandering around the base. Kind of surprised no one stopped me. Eventually I ended up back here. The sight of that man must have snapped me out of my days. How could I have done something so awful? You got to lock me up. How indeed, you claim not to have a motive for the crime. And most people don't go around stabbing random individuals for no reason. Do you have a history of mental illness, Miss Bo Mr. Botomy? You think I'm some kind of sociopath? Well, sorry, I'm not. I had to pass a medical examination to qualify for the clinical trial here. They wouldn't have let me participate if I had something wrong with my head. It would have interfered with the hard... Uh, with the tests. I mean... Huh? What was that about... He was about to say earlier? So no, I don't think I have any brain problems that I know about. You think you... I could just... I don't know. Snapped? I don't know. I'm not a doctor or anything. I am. So could he have just snapped? I don't know. I'm not that kind of doctor. Then why the fuck would you say anything? You useless twat. Then don't pi- Exactly! Don't pipe up like that! Anyways. Uh, that's all I can remember about the day. Actually, let's press him about the trial. Was this the first time you have been in, in the smart house? Yeah, today was the grand unrevealing. Up until then, the house had always been on. Uh, uh, the house has had always been on, hidden behind these big walls. I didn't even know it, it was a house until today. Of course, I wanted to know what was so special about it. I'm still not really sure what it is. It's a smart house. Oh, uh, okay. So there's what a bunch of dictionaries in here? I'll uh, explain to it, you it later. What ha what happened next? Let's press him on this. You certainly... You, you're certain you stabbed him with a knife? It's one of the few things I'm certain of. 
A lot in the day is sort of fuzzy, but I remember stabbing him crystal clear. I still remember what it felt like when the knife went into his back. This is the most suspicious part of his testimony. He's so confident in this one fact, even though there's such an obvious contradiction to his claim. This is the place to start chipping away at his testimony. There's no doubt in my mind that I'm the one who killed him. Alright, let's present. Altos? Oh, I think it would be this. Let's present it. That's a pretty interesting story, Mr. Bartomy. Unfortunately, this is completely false. As demonstrated by this evidence. Why would you go over the top like that? Is it... How so? Isn't it obvious? N no? Oh, it's not... Oops. Come now, assistant. Gotta try a little harder than that. Here's a little motivation to step up your game. Couldn't you try the carrot before you reach for the stick? Um... Uh, this is the stabbing part? Okay, this one. Present. So we know it's this one. Sheratooth's photo. Maybe this? Oh, wait. I can also present this. Pardon me. Unfortunately... Oh, I only have so much. Stab a nearby knife. Huh. I don't remember, it must have been shock. I'm stabbing on people for no reason. Was that? He was about to say something. Shut up, Carlos. So it's... It's definitely this where he grabbed a knife. I thought it would have been the autopsy report. Maybe it's Charlotte's photo? It's a pretty interesting story, Mr. Bottomy. Unfortunately, it's completely false. It's demonstrated. Oh no, I'm gonna lose. Advice? I hate to admit it, but I'm kind of lost. Where's this contradiction you kept talking about? Well, Bottomy keeps talking about how he stabbed the victim with his own hands. But don't we have a piece of advice which suggests otherwise? If you're still confused, look through the evidence one more time. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, that would be this, would it not be? Oh, he couldn't stab him if there was no fingerprint. Just to clarify, Mr. Burn, you were wearing the same clothes as you are right now. I guess I must have been. I don't remember going anywhere to change. Oh! Oh my god, that's so clever! See, I would have never guessed that it was based on his clothing. I would have guessed it was based on the body. But, like, this has an extra level of observation. I like that. And you're absolutely certain you stabbed uh, the knife into the victim. How many times are you going to make me say it, lady? I stabbed him with my own two hands. I mean, with only one hand, but you get the idea. How interesting that you should mention hands, Mr. Bottomy. Because I don't think yours were ever on this blade. What are you talking about? Uh, is it... Is this... Is the knife... Is it this knife? Um, the knife that you remember plunging into the victim? Y yes. Before you arrive, we ran a few tests on it. 
One of these tests revealed that there were no fingerprints anywhere on the handle. Gah! Great job, Randy. You punched a hole right through that testimony. No, that can't be. I remember stabbing him. I swear I'm telling the truth. There has to be some sort of... <coughs> uh. There has to be some sort of explanation. Sorry. Had a sip of water, went down the long hall. Gloves. I'm sorry. You must have been wearing gloves. That would explain the lack of fingerprints, wouldn't it? Yes, I'm starting to remember now. I took a pair of medical gloves after my tests were complete. I had them while I was stabbing him, and I got rid of them while I was stabbing him. Wait, didn't he say that he was waiting around for his tests to begin? But he just said he completed them. What? What? But earlier you said you're wearing the same clothes as you are right now. Sorry, I guess I forgot about the gloves. Besides, those don't really count as clothing, do they? And just like that, my per per perfect rebuttal crumbles into dust. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Mr. Barton, you're giving us some new information regarding the crime. Could you please make another statement including this information? Come on, lady, I already told you I did it. Why do you have to keep grilling me? Every time you ask a question, it makes my head hurt. I'm just trying to reach the truth, Mr. Bartomey. Everything you tell me is immensely helpful. Alright, alright. What do you want to know about? Tell me more about the exact moment of the crime, please. Witness statement number two. I was already wearing the gloves before I entered the kitchen. I saw the man and I knew I needed to stab him, so I grabbed the knife from the counter. When I stabbed him, he slumped over onto the floor. I thought I saw movement in the window, so I ran away. That would ex uh, explain the person with the picture, like selfie. While I was on wandering around the base, I took off the gloves and threw them away. How did that sound to you? Hmm. I don't see any glaring errors in his statement. Still, it doesn't make sense that... I get the sense that he's not telling us everything he could. I think the best course of ask action is to press him for more information. Okay. Wearing gloves before th he entered. Um. I would have to guess, personally, it would be this one, right? But no, because this would confirm that statement. Oh, wait a sec. Um, slumped onto the floor. Stab him, so I grabbed a knife. What would be... Oh, he slumped over on the floor? Yeah, maybe. One single piece of evidence will tear your statement to shreds, Bottomy. Oh my gosh, it will. How so? Well, you see, uh, when you look at the angle, um, Webster's stick I've had enough. <sighs> I thought that would, because he didn't really slump. Maybe I'm being nitpicky then? Smart house is not fair. Maybe that? Oh, 
Oh, he couldn't have ran away. Because it looked like he walked. Right? If not, then I'll lose. Well, you see, uh, when you look at the angle of the... It's enough. Stop wasting your time. Alright, I've had enough of this. You've wasted enough... My time long enough. I want you and all your weird friends out of here. Wait, please, just give me... Get out of my crime scene. Go on before I arrest you for obstruction of justice. And so the truth disappeared into the darkness. Drange fails to bring the real culprit to justice, and I will never unravel the enigma of Base 42. Huh. So, I'll get back to where I was and try and figure out what the missing or what is like standing out as wrong i suppose so i'll do that now and you'll see me when i get back all right so i am back to the second half and this time i have a full bar but i should press him on something um, on a few different scenarios, or like things he says. Stabbed him. And I guess this, I can press him for more information so I know where to, what statement to um, drill him on. I can get advice. I would say this one I want to start off with. Because I do want to present this here, but I'm not quite sure why. Presumably, that was uh, Mr. Chiritu taking pictures outside the house. Oh, was it? I guess that makes sense. I thought it might have been one of the security duck guards come to arrest me. I didn't want to get caught, so I ran away. And yet you came right back an hour later? I was, I was feeling guilty about what I've done, so I came back and to turn myself in. At least I think so. Everything after I stabbed the guy is still a blur. Oh, I do remember one thing that uh, time. Um. Oh, okay, let's press him on this then. Do you remember exactly... Uh, where exactly you left those gloves? They could be vital evidence. Uh, n no, I don't. That's the one thing I'm still hazy on. Even a general idea, something we could start a search. I think they were somewhere inside the base. Well, that sure narrows it down. I'm sorry. If you want, I can repeat my testimony for you. Sure, thanks. Um, actually, I want to press him on this. Why did you put him on the first place then? I'm not quite sure. Maybe I liked wearing them. That's a pretty flimsy reason to do something like that. Is that all you got, Warren? A flimsy reason? I'm afraid that contradictory to what wi whiny film critics on the internet believe. A person making a choice you don't understand is not logic, not a logical contradiction. Um, that is actually unfortunately quite true, especially with this dickhead saying it. You're going to have to do better if you want to discount this witness statement. Ah, I didn't know that drag was capable of such succulent uh, rebuttals. Or that he frequently did the internet movie forms. Carry on, Mr. Bottomy. Alright. I, so I went in the kitchen and... I stabbed him, slumped over on the floor. Did you try to fight back at all? No, he just went still when I plugged, plunged the knife in. I think he tried to scream, but he couldn't make a sound. So he just fell peacefully to the ground. Did you do anything to him besides stabbing him? What, like beat him up? No way. I'm not signed to butcher. Actually, I guess I am, huh? Well, I'm not the kind of butcher that kicks a guy when he's down, at least. I see. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, that's the evidence! 
He said he only stabbed them when we found bruising. What are you looking so funny for? Did I say something important there? Yes, very important. We said it was very important. Could you please add that to your statement? Oh, uh, sure. If you think it really matters that much. Stabbed him. Oh, we got something else to hammer him on. Uh, stab him. I didn't beat him up or anything. Present. Fuck you. Yeah, you did. I thought that was interesting. That you were so insistent you only stabbed the victim. But it's a good thing you were because it exposes another key flaw in your story. What, what are you talking about? This is a preliminary medical report written by my forensics expert, Carlos. I could read out what's written here, but let's get straight, uh, get it straight from the horse's mouth, shall we? Hi, I'm the horse. Or am I the mouth? Focus, Carlos. Carlos, could you please tell Mr. Bartome about the state we found the victim's body in? Sure, he was dead on the floor with a knife in his back. Of course. And with severe bruising covering his entire body. Ah, at this point, it's unknown whether the cause was the death of stabbing or blunt force trauma. Gah, I forgot about the bruises. So you remember them now? Yes, they were all over his body, even before I stabbed him. What is going on here? Wait, I'm remembering something else now. Before I stabbed him, I beat him up. I threw him to the floor and I kicked him while he passed out. That's where the bruises came from. You gotta be kidding me. And there's something else. Oh great, what now? I remember my motive for killing him now. You probably want another statement about that, don't you? Yes, please. <sighs> Jesus, this is pain in the ass. That's how I... That's how I beat Dashima. Dasha. I remember that man now. He was the one in charge of the trial I was participating in. Today he asked me to meet him here in the spot house. We, we walked around the kitchen together, and that's when he broke the news to me. He was kicking me off the trial because I had leaked some information. I was so mad that I just started wailing on him, and then I grabbed the knife and... I'd have to admit I doubted you, assistant, but you really did pull it off. You managed to drag a motive out of him, and this is really going to cut down on paperwork I need to file. I'll put a good in word in for you. At the brewer, once we book this guy. Hold on, Agent. I'm still not done interrogating him yet. You're still not done? You're uh, not leaving any crime for me to solve. Then how about you get off your butt and solve the crime yourself? What are we going to do, Andy? This guy keeps changing his story. That might be a good thing. Huh? Assuming he's lying, every time he makes something up, he increases the chance of contradicting some evidence. We just need to wait for a slip-up that he can't possibly weasel his way out of. That is true! Um... Okay... Asked me to meet him here in the small house. Walked into the kitchen together and that's when he broke the news to me. He was kicking him off the trial. Hmm... That, I guess, would explain... Actually, press them. Is that when you track the mo those muddy footprints in? Sure is. Where, do you, where did you even find mud to step in around here? I, uh... Oh, yeah. It's cleaned up now, but earlier there was a big mud puddle outside the front door. I think a sprinkler in the garden malfunctioned and sprayed it everywhere. You couldn't avoid stepping in it if you wanted to get in the door. Why aren't there two... Tracks. But wait a minute, if that's the case. All right! Ask him. Might as well, no harm in it. Mr. Bonnie, could you please add information to your testimony? Uh, alright. 
Walked in the kitchen together and that's when he broke the news to me. This big mud puddle... Presents? Why is it... Okay, if there's a mud puddle and you had to step in it, why are there only one set of tracks? You really stepped in... <laughs> why the pun? You've really stepped in it now, Mr. Botany. And by it, I mean mud. Excuse me. There's no doubt you tracked in mud where you entered the smart house. The muddy footprints and the silt on your shoes prove that pretty conclusively. But the events had proceeded as you claimed they did, the victim would have stepped in the mud as well. And there would be a second pair of footprints right next to yours. God, you're absolutely right. What does this mean? It means you've been lying to us, Mr. Bottomy. You've lied about the fingerprints, lied about the bruises, and you're lying to us right now. Technically, when he's doing this, isn't this obstruction of justice? I'm not sure, but I would assume so. No, no, I'm not lying. I remember walking in with him. But the footprints, why aren't there two pairs? It doesn't make... There has to be... I know that I... Stop asking questions! He passed out. Looks like he lost his metal cap. Wait, what on earth? He was chipped. His head... Oh, he said his head! was hurting every time we asked questions. That's probably why. What is that thing? Well, that's a new one, even for me. That is a cool effect. Uh, yeah, I think I will. All right, so that was act two. Uh, that was a shorter act. But, I want to present all the acts, uh, one by one, especially seeing as the first act was a little bit longer, or at least it was for me, to actually, um, uh, get through. But, that being said, I hope you enjoyed, but, thank you for tuning into our frequency. This is The Rebel Lemon, signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.